It becomes feasible and convenient to access online educational resources with the emergence of large-scale open online courses and online academic conferences. However, it is urgent and challenging to effectively retrieve and present numerous lecture videos for common users. The traditional UI like YouTube style, when users search for a topic they need to watch the whole video or keep dragging the timeline, it's time-consuming. So, we propose a hierarchical visual interface for retrieving and summarizing lecture videos. In this work, the proposed architecture consists of three parts, the offline computation process for video preprocessing, construction of a video database, and a hierarchical user interface for educational videos. The hierarchical UI will introduce later. This is the homepage of our system. When users search for a keyword, the system will retrieve the video title, and the speech content in the video from the database. Then the contents that meet the requirements will be rendered in the web page. When users browse a specific video, they will enter the hierarchical visual interface. The hierarchical visual interface consists of a video layer that contains video and groups of slides with timestamps, a frame layer that contains the speech content and visual content of one selected slide, and a poster layer that demonstrates the summarized video in a poster style. This interface can fulfill the diverse usage scenario for different users. In our survey of related work, users would like to use the textual content or the image in slides when they search for a specific topic in the video. Therefore, we designed a poster layer, which demonstrates the chapter of the video decorated with the figure in slides and the speech content in the video as a poster style. This design can satisfy the user's browsing habits mentioned above. In case users want to see the detail of the point they are interested, when users click these elements, see red boxes, the website will redirect to the corresponding time of the video in the video layer. In the video layer, the left part is a video player. The right part is a group of slides for this video, and users can also adjust the number of slides. During the video playback, the slides on the right will change simultaneously. To help users fast-forward the video to which they are interested conveniently and efficiently, we use the same design mentioned above to help users view the corresponding part in the video by clicking the slide. To fulfill the usage scenario, users want to view the textual matter of the speech content or the slide rather than the video. Users can enter to the frame layer and view the textual matter of the speech content and slide distinctly by clicking the detail button in the slides. And users can also redirect to the other two layers by clicking on the corresponding buttons in the frame layer. That's all.